Hello friends! Before I demonstrate the activity option for your family, please remember that you can access activity instructions for this week's family table time right here on Valley's website or remember that there are January activity kits which contain supplies for the whole month of January. Among other things, you will find some fun Bible verse stickers and a Bible bingo game. If you'd like an activity kit, please text me and pick one up from a bin near the side entrance at the church or let Sarah or I know if you need to have one delivered. Okay, here we go. Let's make a tiny book. I'll show you how to do it, but you can also click on a video link in the instructions that we provide. Okay, I'm gonna need, you need a piece of paper Unlined would be great, but it doesn't have to be. And the first thing you do is fold it in half this direction. And just like that. Then open it up and fold it in half the other direction. Make sure you press those creases. Then fold it in half again. And one more time, the same direction, lengthwise. Okay. Then you've got something this size. Okay, it's not done yet. No, no. Then you open it up. Okay. And take it back to that half, half size, this direction. And you'll see that there are some creases we've made in it, right? We're going to take a pair of scissors and cut right through this crease and stop at the next crease you come to. Okay, you got something like that. Now, here's the part that should be really easy and will be for most people, but not for me. So we'll see how it goes. You open it up, you see that diamond, right, in the middle? Okay, this is the part that's so cool. For me, I kind of need to turn it the other way. You turn it like this, you open it up and then push those, I don't know how to describe it, you kind of open it up and then pull the inside together and <laughs> go like that. And it creates a little book. And you're like, wait, how did you do that one part? Well, I, was, I got lucky and actually did it faster than I ever have. I'll show you one more time. I'll try to anyway. Okay, so you you end up at this point, and you're like, what do I do with this? And I like to turn it the other direction, and you got, you pull it open. You just pull that diamond open all the way until everything's kind of meeting in the middle, and then you just kind of refold it, and you end up with this cool little book. See? That you did not... So it's got one, two, three in the back page. You didn't need to use tape or staples or anything, so that's pretty cool. Now, you could make one little book for your family, or each member could make one little book. And maybe inside that, you will put, um, you could write, maybe, maybe you could draw a little picture on the front, or just put like Bible verses, the word Bible verses on the front. And you could write our key Bible verse this month, which is Psalm 119, 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Excuse me, light on my path. Or you could draw simple pictures, especially little ones, to illustrate what the Bible is like or means to you. Or you could copy some verses that describe God's word. And we have a list of those in the instructions we provide online or in the kit. So have fun making a tiny book in which you can put some reminders of what God's work is, word is like or how much you love God's word. Have fun.